Hi team, I got another awesome question for you. This is a fun one. I like this one because it's it's really detailed. And so it really brings you into the scenario. So let's read it together. You can pause me if you want to and read it. I'm just read it. It says here, uh, number 40, an entering second grade student. Let's circle entering second grade student. So how old are they? Well, we said kindergarten, right? Remember, we were like kindergarten is like maybe five to six, and first grade is maybe um, uh, first grade is maybe six to seven, and so second grade would be really like uh, seven to eight, right? In that range, so entering would be around seven years old, right? Somewhere maybe possibly around seven years old. Um, so a entering second grade student performs well. So they're really like a beginner reader. They're still in this this zone here and they're still in like the beginner reader zone and entering a entering second grade student performs well below benchmarks on the universal screening for oral reading fluency okay so let's circle that so universal screening are those exams that you take at the beginning of the year or when you enter a school and it's designed to spot um gaps or uh strengths in the students uh you know where the student is and it's saying that at this seven-year-old comes into this uh, second grade class and they're way behind, and especially in their oral reading fluency. So there are definitely gaps in oral reading fluency. They lack oral reading fluency. Is that right? Okay, so these, res re these results aligned with the student's observations that the student does not read with fluency when reading aloud during reading daily reading activities. So what could that be? Daily reading activities. Uh, maybe like um, morning message, right? That's a daily reading activity. Let me go back to this, uh, go to a slide here. This is something that, you know, most first, second, third graders and, not, and you know, uh, preschool teachers do almost every day. I would say even um, older students do, you know, in uh, upper elementary. Daily activity, right? The teacher is noticing the second grader is having difficulty getting through the morning message. Yes? Okay, at this stage of reading development, the factor, the factor that is most likely disrupting the student's reading fluency is that the student does not what? So what's holding them back? What's holding them back? Um, is it B, uh, know the meaning of most of the vocab words that appear in the text? So is it a vocab thing? Is this seven-year-old di having difficulty with those new tier two and tier three words? Not really, right? So that's that's out. That's that's really not the issue for for a seven year old. The tier two and tier three academic and content specific vocab. Um, is it uh, C? Um, um, know how to deconstruct the complex language structures used in the text. Complex language structures, like uh, is that second grader doing like Shakespeare? I didn't think so. So no, no, that's not really it either, right? Because we're thinking like, they're n that's not complex language structure, right? So that one's out too. Let me go back to, so that one's out too. Okay, how about this one right here? Uh, have sufficient background knowledge. So is it a background knowledge thing, knowledge related to the text topic? Now team, that is when a student is using their schema or what they know to understand a, 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 an, a, an idea. And it's true. And for the upper grades, um, if a student did not have any background knowledge, let's say they, they never seen snow before. Um, then if a student was reading about a snowstorm, I could see how that would hold back their fluency. They're like, what's going on? Or something else. You can think of uh, countless things. A student, uh, if, if a student doesn't have background knowledge, that would impact their reading. But that's more for the upper grades, right? So it's not really a background thing, and it's not really a, a language complexity thing. It's not really a vocab thing. These are for the upper grades, and these are things that you'd be working on uh, for more reading comprehension. We're looking at um, something that's holding back fluency for a beginner reader. So what could that be? Well, in the first problem in this set, we saw the exact same problem, but this came from a test. Remember this question? Now, this test is, is from 2014, but even earlier than that. 
It was written around 2012, 2013. So let's say 2013, right? So this question here is over 10 years old, over 10 years old, probably 15. It's an old question, right? And it was, they lack fluency. So what do we do? We do decoding, right? Now, this is the exact same question, okay? It's the exact same question. The, uh, oops, this is the exact same question. They're all the same question. The second grade student lacks fluency. What do we do? Have phonics knowledge, uh, knowledge and skills needed. Uh, we, we assess, right? We, we, what, what would say at this stage of reading development, the factor that would most likely disrupt the student's re, uh, reading fluency is that the student does not have phonics knowledge and skills needed to decode words in the text. Doesn't that make sense? Team, do you see um, this? Do you see the same question here? Second grader um, is uh, below in reading fluency. They lack reading fluency, right? That's what this is saying. Does not have reading fluency. So second grader uh, lacks fluency, does not have fluency. Why? Because of phonics and because they don't have the skills to decode. This is the upgraded version of this. This was the scenario from 10 years ago, and they took this question and they spoofed it up a little bit, added some other ideas, same answer, right? Same answer. Got to go back and fix the phonics. Yes? Okay, team, the reason why I included all these, the, 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 the set of questions here is I wanted you to see that this question and this question and this question and, and this question, they all are kind of going using the same idea. Students has difficulty with fluency or how could we promote fluency? They're all going back and they're, they're reinforcing this idea that decoding supports fluency that helps with comprehension, okay? All right, this is a great question. The answer is from this test here. Uh, and you get lots of review of lots of different ideas going on. So cool stuff, okay? All right, you're doing great. Let's let's uh, shift to some different questions, okay?